Why are there so many people that we summon for that still don't have the two-star LDs from the secret dungeons? The oh, actually, he's missing a Thrain. Okay, so we're hoping to get a Thrain. He didn't tell me we're hoping to get a Thrain here, but we're hoping to get a Thrain here. We're also hoping to get a Dark Imp Champion and whatever other four stars that are useful LD4s. I don't think we even have that many LD scrolls, but we'll see. We'll see what we, what we summon the new four stars as well. Plenty, plenty, pl oh, Tiana, wow. Tiana Oliver, there's a decent amount of five stars that he's uh, missing too. Many, 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 wow, Samoth, Wusa. It's quite a lot, quite a lot. So most likely these will be new. Well, he's got a decent amount of fire, but he's still missing half of uh, half of them now. All right, let's 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 get to summoning. We'll, we'll talk about the, the all the units he's missing later, shall we? I don't even know where the summon portal is. So we have two SWCs. Yeah, he said he wanted he he really wants Juno. So he's missing Juno, I'm sure. Uh he's got a do he's got a Praha, but he wants more Prahas. We have I, I he really likes Oracles for some reason. I think we know I think we know the reason. I think we know the reason, but he really, <laughs> really wants Oracles. Wait, do we have a blessing? Because we should do fires if we have a blessing. We do have a blessing. Let's go fire. Get the best chance for the uh, the Junos, and then after that, we'll try to get the Duke Prahas. He literally said, "Duke Praha over new Juno number one, Duke Praha, then new over dupes, except for Praha dupes." He re he really likes Oracle, but not Ciara. Why don't you like Ciara so much? What's the matter with you? His huge. Maybe he has a lot of Ciara dupes. And he just really wants the Praha dupes to uh, to balance it out. Maybe. We've been having very polarizing summon video. I mean, they're all kind of polarizing. Um, some of them have been terrible today. Like, terrible that we can't even upload because there was just nothing, nothing pulled. And then, also, we had the last one we recorded today was actually not not that bad it was it was uh you got a few nat fives oh here we go it is the lightning so, so let's see let's see if this one's uh doo doo or good we're getting lightning so there seems to be no problem there hopefully we at least get the three star the ld3s that they're missing and the new four stars and then some kind of new five star something that is the hopes. They're getting up. There's a lot of lightning. I We're definitely above average lightning rates. Now we just need to be above average net five rates. Lightning, lightning. Okay. I wonder if the Horus Cleaves would, uh, would work. I don't know if you guys remember Math Plus Games. Some of you, I'm sure, remember him. He used to do Horus Cleaves. He used to do Gemini and um, Immensity. Not Immensity. Yeah, Immensity. Kebezanuf. What else? I don't remember his exact. Shimite, I think. It was a. Uh, it was an interesting. He had very very fast runes. But now, nowadays, especially since he hasn't been playing, or I, I assume he hasn't, maybe he came back to the game at some point recently and just didn't mention it. Who knows? I actually, I haven't talked. We used to talk, um, aside from, we did, aside from YouTube, where, where we have talked on YouTube, uh, I guess in a podcast or whatever, which I never do. So that could, that is not possible, but yeah, we used to talk, uh, on the side. We used to poo poo talk, come to us. Okay. Oh my goodness. I gotta ask. I, I gotta ask. We'll be back. Thankfully, he actually got back to us. I was really hoping I wasn't gonna have to make that call because they're both very good units. So we will go for the water puppeteer. He is the one that said water puppeteer. Both of them are 
are pretty good though. Water Puppeteer is faster. So I kind of felt like I would have picked that one anyway, but people are finally starting to appreciate the Wind Slayer. So there is, uh, there is that finally, right? Wind Slayer was good for a while, but didn't really get the love. He's, be he's better now than he was before, but he didn't really quite get the love that he, uh, he does now. Everyone's like, as, as, as soon as they see it in RTA, they're like, okay, well, in, in SWC, sorry. Then it becomes, oh, maybe we should start using that thing that we have in storage because he's actually not bad. They see the potential when he's got the crazy runes. And he starts violent proccing like crazy and the skills actually work. And then you get him on your account and you're like, oh, his skills don't work. What what I uh, what I ruined this thing up for? Get resisted all the time. That was pointless. Balls. But I, I do think that just based on the base speed, the water puppeteer is a better choice for most people in that situation. Water puppeteer can get quite nasty. When you uh, when you just CC your opponent to death, control your opponent to death as much as possible, and they don't ever get, actually get any turns. Is those nasty combos like that where the cooldowns really matter? Because if units have slightly longer cooldowns, those uh, those crazy infinite CC comps are harder to pull off. And the opponent can actually get some get some turns in. But if you have low cooldowns, especially with things that reset the cooldowns, some of those just last forever. So that and Tamo have some nasty, nasty combo potential. That's why there's things like Zhao, uh, Douglas, Antares. That are try to counter all of that. I'm hoping this balance patch. I I feel like the balance patch is gonna be decent. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, the balance patch already came out. So disregard whatever I'm saying. Like I hope the balance patch. It's, it's never, <laughs> it's never an amazing balance patch anymore because they do them every two months now. But at least at least we're getting some. I I feel that two month is is better because even though they're a little bit less impactful less crazy less uh stuff in them and, and and they don't really make things like super crazy uh huge changes as much it still it keeps the game exciting like by the time you're <laughs> i want to say by the time your excitement has died down from the last balance patch it's time for another one but like the balance patch excitement nowadays hey here we go balance patch excitement uh nowadays is lasts like a week this <laughs> for some people it lasts like it doesn't even start for some people. So, I know some of you guys are like, no matter what balance patch it is, you're like, this is boring, this sucks. So we got a Chandra. I don't know if Chandra's a new or a dupe, but that's two units. Two nat fives better than zero nat fives. So it looks like we're off to a good start. Wind Rakasaka. I, I do know that that is not just in case anyone's curious. I do know that that is not the name. I am I'm joking because Thompson used to call it Rakasakas. He never he never said that to me. He said that he said that to someone, and then people started talking about it, and I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. So hey, Leo. Well, <laughs> there we go. That is a solid unit. Was he looking for Leo? I think he said he was looking for Juno. Did not say anything about uh, Leo at all. The last account we summoned for was looking for Leo. And that's how Summoner's War works. Maybe this is new. Dupe Leo is still great to have though. So we got a we got a super fast base speed unit. One of the best uh, high base speed units in the game. The Water Puppeteer. We got a Leo, which uh, if it's on the battlefield with that, makes the high base speed Water Puppeteer kind of not as important to have. So probably not... A great idea to use those together. You can still use them together. You just have to do it differently. 
You don't necessarily need a crazy base speed uh, water puppeteer. Okay, not bad, not bad. Where am I going? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Let's see what's new. Let's see. We're, we're keeping the duplio. Don't worry. Where's the Chandra? I don't see a Chandra. I know he's here. Oh, he's here. Yeah. Not even fully skilled up, so I don't have to feel bad feeding. At least we have a blessing, so we can possibly get something that they don't already have. Not bad, though. Three nat fives already. Not not bad. Not not complaining. Keep Praha dupes. Why is it? Why he loves these? Why Praha and not Ciara? Please answer me that question. Riddle me this, Batman. Why? Why? Why Praha and not Ciara? The world wants to know. Maybe he'll grace us with the answer in the comments section. Because she's beautiful. Okay. Maybe he wants to build a five Praha team. You can't really do too much with a uh, five Praha gimmick team nowadays. Trust me, I thought about it. I don't have five Prahas though. You have to go back to farming B10. Or you can collect 20 and do world boss. Those are the two gimmick options. We could do a four Praha arena offense, I suppose, or rush hour defense. All these options for you. None of them good, but all they are options. Got a few fusions. Did they didn't get did they get a lot of fusions? I know I noticed a few. I always hope for fusion monsters. If I'm going to get four stars, I hope for fusions or new four stars. This way I can scale up the new four stars that I've had for months that are still not scaled up. And in reality, we get death knights. You never know. They could. Well, they did change the death knights in the last patch, didn't they? Didn't they do? They did something with them. Didn't they? I feel like they did. I feel like they might have. Where is... I'm always lost. It's and I'm always lost. It's always right there. Like right in front of everything. Let's jiggle some stuff. Oh, I know. We're going to jiggle. It doesn't work quite the same if they have different transmogs. Anything exciting? Please, let's get one one exciting thing. One exciting LD5. That's all I'm asking for, Comtos. Just one, uh, just a little LD5. You won't even notice. <laughs> what? Are, wait, what am I asking for? What are they not going to notice? Just a little baby LD5. Just give us like a ragdoll. We'll put a transmog on it. Make him look like a little baby. Little, little baby LD5. I wonder. I wonder what those, uh, those scrolls, those LD5 scrolls. They open the door for some things, guys. They're not just going to stick some LD5 scrolls in there for nothing. Who knows if this is going to... Who knows if they're going to do something with them now or in forever. I wouldn't I wouldn't be that surprised if for the 10th year anniversary, they pop those out in some packs. Just like 10th year anniversary, LD5 packs. I would not be shocked. I would not. They have to do something big. 
So, all right, last one. Transcendent scroll. Let's see what we get. We got the blessing. I feel like Carlos, right? Is there a reason that he would want? Units that snipe. Okay, yeah, let's do that then. Yep. There we go. Snipe unit. This is this is probably the one he wants. And if not, then we'll just edit that out of the video. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you as always in the next one.